Now to an update on the first person in Pasco County to test positive for COVID-19. After weeks of battling the symptoms and staying in isolation, this man finally got some good news. We're going to share it with you tonight. He just did a Skype interview with Eight on Your Side's Justin Shecker, who continues our live team coverage. Justin, how is he doing tonight, and what did he tell you? Mel, good evening. Gene De La Sala says he's lost count, but the health department has tested him for the virus at least 10 times. Yesterday, he says his wife picked up the phone to learn the good news he's long been waiting for. A COVID-19 test finally came back negative. I was like, don't kid about this. This is not something to kid about. But when I saw the look on my wife's face of, like, relief and happiness, I realized it was true. 46-year-old Gene De La Sala first tested positive on March 10th. He says he contracted the virus from someone who visited his home at the end of February after traveling abroad. The symptoms started a few days later. De La Sala tells Eight on Your Side his biggest worry was passing on the virus to his wife and 12-year-old daughter. But that hasn't happened as he stayed isolated in his house. We've heard a lot about whether coronavirus patients should try hydrochloroquine, a drug for malaria. De La Sala says his doctor prescribed it to him with another antibiotic. The first time he took hydrochloroquine, he says he had side effects like body sweats and headaches. And I drank a lot of water to kind of flush my body out. And the next day I took my second dose of hydrochloroquine and the side effect was less severe. So I kept it going. I kept taking the antibiotic. After about three days of the antibiotic and two days of the hydrochloroquine, I definitely felt an improvement. And I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to test negative this time. And De La Sala says he's not endorsing hydrochloroquine for every COVID-19 patient, but says his doctor prescribed it to him because he also got a sinus infection. And Mel, his fingers are crossed that he'll get a second negative test on Monday. Only after that will he feel comfortable coming in contact with his wife and daughter. Back to you. Well, I'll tell you what, Justin, we will keep our fingers crossed for him as well. Gene, congratulations. Please let us know how Monday turns out. Justin Shecker reporting live for us tonight in Tampa. Justin, thank you.